enjoy doing portraits of people's pets anyway. And I just thought the, uh, the whole concept of it just sounded really fun. I could um, just flipping through a calendar like that would be really you know, a fun thing to, to get, even myself. So. painting animals the whole time, but I was always attracted to the natural world and loved to hike. I loved to see wildlife. It was always a big thrill for me to, to see um, any kind of you know, bear. It was fantastic, and deer. And, um, I, I also love and feel connected to animals. So. You know, I think uh, I like their feeling of otherness from us, but they're also um, like us, and I feel a real connection with them, and I especially love looking at an animal and um, looking in their eyes and just feeling that connection that's not human, but it's a definite, definitely important. You know, I um, have to see the painting totally finished when I first start it, so I'll sketch it out and again the eyes are one of the first things I actually complete. I'll have the whole thing kind of sketched in and the eyes will be, be done because I, I like that connection and um, all my paintings are constructed the same as far as um, wanting that dramatic central subject matter, whether it's a flower or an animal, I always start with the, the um, thing that I'm most interested in. two goldfish. <laughs> but the goldfish are they're getting to be, you know, like seven years old. So they've been around for a while. <laughs> you know, we had uh, previously had four cats that had every year one had passed away from old age. And uh, when we were finally ready to have cats again, we had our grandchildren with us, and we just, for some reason, the Humane Society was the first organization that came to mind, and it's also a really nice place to go with kids and meet the animals and spend some quality time with them, and it's a really great environment, and uh, so that's why we decided on the Humane Society. You know, actually they don't really help, they're kind of pest, pesty, <laughs> but I work at home and uh, we converted our garage to be a studio and they can come in the studio but they have to sit in the chair. So half the time I can't sit down because there's a cat in my chair. But years ago, one of our previous cats, I, kind of my signature is this black background behind my flowers and when I was redoing the studio, I was painting inside the house and come home, here's these black footprints, oh, just on the white background. He had, didn't touch anything that was painted, but he just walked, touched all the white stuff, so I had to paint it black, and it was like, whoa, it really works. So Otis <laughs> gave me my black background technique, but <laughs> otherwise they're a little pesty. <laughs> they, want, they want all the attention. Well, I um, had relatives in Polson, and every summer we'd come up and spend the summer on Flathead Lake, which is fantastic. So when I graduated from high school, I kind of chose forestry because I loved coming up here so much. But then I discovered art, so I didn't take any forestry, and I changed my major to art and stayed here because I loved, loved Missoula. You know, I've been uh, showing 
since 1980, and I'm in uh, four galleries right now. But over the years, I've um, sh I actually have a painting in the Four Seasons in Singapore, and there's a big cruise ship that has uh, 25 of my prints, the Holland American cruise ship. And just over the years, I've I've uh, worked hard to get out there. I have tried everything else, oil and acrylic, and I just love watercolor. When I first started painting with it, I just fell in love with the way it blended, and I love the fact you can you just let it go and it kind of does its own thing and you don't have to control it all the time. What I usually like to do is um, have a person give me photographs and uh, for this particular project I probably wouldn't do a little pre-sketch but for a bigger commission I do a pre-sketch a little sketch for people so they can see if they like it or not and uh, for this project I think the more kind of spontaneous and um, um, work better since there's going to be 13 of them <laughs> to meet them, but actually if there's a good photograph, I can get a, a pretty good cap, you know, capture on the, on the subject, and I've had real good luck with all my commissions, in, in fact, so um, I, it's not necessarily an uh, important thing to meet the animal unless there, hasn't, there isn't really a great photograph of it, and then we can maybe uh, do a little photo shoot with the animal. Thank you very much. Thank you.